Hi guys, welcome to the IMOT Forums, the Agraria YouTube channel. Today, we are going to talk about some interesting facts on the COVID pandemic and the key to avoid such crisis in the upcoming times. We have all been talking about the deadly outbreak of the coronavirus and its negative implications since its inception. However, amidst all these, we have also come across some positive news about our environment. The nitrogen dioxide levels in China have dropped due to the coronavirus quarantine. There was decrease in the levels of pollution in Indian cities on the day of the people curfew. It is claimed that the nature is restoring itself due to reduced human interaction. But the appreciation and concern is more focused on the human environment interaction on the aftermath of the pandemic outbreak and not on the origin of such an interaction. The origin of such infectious diseases like COVID-19 could be traced back to the ecosystem alterations by the human beings at three different landscapes. First, at the forest level, deforestation, expansion of settlements along the forest edges, increasing human-wildlife contact, forest habitat alteration have led to an abundance of factors like ticks, mosquitoes and reservoir hosts like pigs and bats. Second, there are changes in the agricultural landscapes involving water diversion, irrigation water stagnation and this has led to vector multiplication, mixing of domestic as well as wild species in farms and unregulated meat trade. Third, in the urban landscape where urban and peri-urban sprawl intrudes into forested areas and development of transport facilities had raised the population density close to the wildlife areas. This increased human and forest interface has led to the easy transfer of pathogens like virus and bacteria from vector or a reservoir population of domestic farm animals to the human beings. This is called the zoonotic origin of diseases. Also, evolutionary capacity of virus to rapid adaptation enables it to transmit effectively in domestic and peri-domestic cycles. A well-known example of this is the earlier form of HIV that originated in the tropical forests and was transferred to humans from the primates, which expanded to other human-dominated regions that had weak public health infrastructure and poor disease surveillance. Similarly, most Ebola outbreaks occurred in the forest fringe areas. Frequent contact of the humans with wildlife had exposed people living there to previously unknown pathogens as well. Bats have been suggested as a reservoir for Ebola and monkeys contracted the disease and from there it was transmitted to humans. Fruit bats are also important hosts of many pathogens including NIFA and SARS virus. Possible emergence mechanism of NIFA is found to be fruit cultivation on forest fringes and wildlife trade for human consumption in the case of SARS disease. Now, the novel SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus that emerged in the city of Wuhan, China last year and has since then grown into a pandemic is also the product of natural evolution, according to the findings published in the journal Nature Medicine. The findings also revealed that the molecular structure of the new coronavirus mostly resembles the structure of the related viruses in bats and pangolins. The COVID-19 is a classic example of an emerging disease due to wildlife displacements, deforestation and illegal trade. According to the Wildlife Trust of India website, it is claimed that pangolins were a source of infection but, like other SARS viruses, these animals could be intermediate hosts of the virus originating in some other species like bats. There are also claims that this intermediary role could have been played by turtles, one of the most commonly traded species in Chinese markets. Hence, there should be renewed focus on forest land use changes and illegal wildlife trade to prevent the emergence of such novel infectious, vector-borne and zoonotic diseases. 
This fact emphasizes the greater role of the forest department in forest resource management for balanced ecosystems, monitoring changes in the fauna population along forest borders and curbing illegal wildlife trade. Climate change has led to the creation of the perspective of forests as carbon stocks. Similarly, in this era of raising pandemics, forest management should be visualized as a stop gate to disease emergence. The outbreak of Corona, though not fortunate at all, is also a lesson for the importance of forests and the effective management of them to keep the earth safe and sound. So guys, this is all for today. Hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to give a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Also visit www.imotforum.com for more agri-environmental updates. We will be back soon with our next video. Until then, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy and keep learning. Bye-bye.